yeah, being able to get everybody involved and take uh, advantage of everybody's strengths. And it also is a, to me, everything's an exchange of energy. And so anytime we can use positive energy to create positive results, we're never wrong. You know, I mean, even if what, even if we say it wrong, as long as we're working and throwing that energy out, and people are not fighting the energy, they're not throwing negative energy. And sometimes bad energy goes out. Because, and I, it's not bad because of what the person's saying, but they don't see the big picture. So it's like it's like they're doing it for their own good, and nine other people are suffering because you're doing it this way. Wait, wait, wait. Can we do it this way? And now that energy. So that's where the energy gets all screwed up. You know, and now all of a sudden it's a friction instead of. I think it's need a certain amount of friction to get things done, but it's boy, just to be able to get all that energy going in a positive direction. Ah, God, that'd be beautiful. Well, as I was telling you, I mean, there's nothing better than a championship game. And, um, you know, I've been a part of coaching championship games and, and I've also seen championship games and, uh, you know, at, at a high school basketball title, you know, championships are really special. Yeah. And so, one time, you know, I made my way out to uh, the University of Missouri to watch, uh, you know, the kids that were there, you know, the best of the best, to have a chance to experience their dream, wear a medal, call themselves the best. And, uh, you know, it's a championship game. Yeah. And, that, and, in, and in these high school championship games, you know, they play in a, in a big arena generally, and each team is given a corner of the arena. And the teenagers usually dress in the school colors and they paint themselves and they pack together and they cheer for the team. And, and all throughout all my years, you know, I hear all kinds of cheers. And, yeah. But they're more like yells and screams and 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 cheerleaders, you know, from from all over. You know, even, it doesn't matter. You know, they have a, an incredible spirit. Yeah. Uh, and, and, it, and it's great. But... Uh, in this particular case, you know, this game had two different opponents. You know, one is legendary high school called uh, Vachon. You know, and it was in East St. Louis, and it's an inner city type school, great basketball tradition. They were playing another St. Louis school, a private school, right. uh, known for, for its wealth, you know, and really they had cheerleaders and a large following, and probably over 4,000 fans were at that game, right. you know, for, for that private school. And Vashon, uh, completely the opposite, you know. Uh, team traveled with, with half the amount of fans and, yeah. and no cheerleading squad. Um, but, you know, as, as I was watching the game, I was like, you know, they got to let their basketball do the talking because they don't really have a whole lot. They didn't match the same amount of fans. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as the game went on, both teams are extremely talented. They're led by a strong point guard and short and strong. Vashon point guard was poised, he was in control. You know, the private school was talented, aggressive on defense, and the game went back and forth, and both teams, you know, started trading baskets, and midway through the second quarter, Vashon gets, like, an eight-point lead, and after the timeout uh, comes the private school, uh, traps the Vashon ball handler in the corner. Yeah. And uh, that's when the first time I started hearing these fans from Vashon starts screaming, be incredible, mm-hmm. be incredible, you know, and over and over again. And, and, and like, almost like something scripted I got of a movie, you know, the ball handler breaks the trap, passes to a teammate, gets an easy basket. Yeah. And then that's how kind of the game kind of unfolded. It went, you know, from a 10 point lead, Vashon then, you know, holds them off and, and, and uh, you know, the opposing crowd is just, you know, fighting to come back. And each time there was challenge, the Vashon fans kept saying, like, be incredible, you know, over and over again. It was it was unbelievable to me. Yeah. You know, because um, I, as, as I watched, you know, those young players, you know, get their, get their medals at the end of the game. You know, you know, I don't remember the score. I don't even remember the name of the private school. I don't even remember what the colors of the of the teams are, but I do remember that in my life when things are pressing me down and I sometimes I feel like, you know, for lack of a better word, you know, being double teamed in the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pause, take a deep breath, and I kind of think about, you know, the, 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 the noise of those fans saying, you know, be incredible. 
Yeah. And, uh, you know, that, that cheer of full confidence, you know, uh, it gives me the ability that I can do it even when I'm, even when I'm, when I'm not able to do it. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and just inside your head, you know, be incredible. Be incredible. I mean, I just think that was just one heck of a, one heck of a memory that I'll, that I'll never forget. And I can just, you know, now, you know, I, I tell my son that and, uh, and everyone else, you know, inside, you know, that I've coached, you know, since, since watching that, you know, and, and yeah. the, as a fan, you know, uh, now that was, I was completely taken, taken aback and I sat back and I just truly enjoyed that, that experience. And I don't think that those fans and have any, any idea of the impact they had that, that day. Um, because all they did is they just showed those, those boys on that floor that, they truly believed in. They weren't. They weren't yelling at them for not making a basket. Yeah. They were telling them to be incredible, to to raise the bar, yeah. be more. And uh, <laughs> dang it, those kids just didn't didn't rise up to that opportunity, man. They that was that was the game within the game to me. I was I was more impressed with that than I am with the score. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wait for those fans to say it again. I was like, is this? This is just amazing. They're just, you know, in, in an arena like that, be incredible, just yeah. super loud and together. It's just, you know, awe-inspiring. Man, that's powerful. So, yeah, I, 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 got, uh, I got chills down my spine, and I still do now, just even thinking about that. Man, re- remarkable. And, Wish uh, I could have been there. Never, never forgot that, you know, and I I've since have looked at – thousands of games you know and and have yet to see that uh instilled yeah. there are there are there are the duke crazies there are you know ucla and the pac-10 and there are some great places where people cheer for their teams yeah but to but to instill that type of confidence be incredible and it was uh remarkable 